The success of your divorce will rely on how well you adopt the law of emotions into your life right now. So let me read you a little excerpt from a phenomenal book by Brian Tracy. It says, the law of emotion states that 100% of your decisions and subsequent actions are based on emotion. You are largely emotional or 90% emotional and 10% logical as has been assumed. So you are completely emotional. Everything you do is based on an emotion of some kind. Your emotions are the energizing forces behind your thoughts. The more intensely you feel something, the greater effect that thought or circumstance will have on your life. Emotion is like an electric fire or a current, which can be either constructive or destructive, depending on how it's used. This is probably the most important thing that I always talk about in divorce. If you go into your divorce fully emotional and, you know, always focusing on your emotions and rather than on logic, then all your decisions that you're going to be making, you'll likely end up regretting. Why? Because your emotions are the ones that are deciding for you what you should do and how you should do it. Because your fears, your anxieties, your worries, your concerns are dictating your future for you at that moment. And when things start to calm down, you're going to start to realize, wait a minute, I actually shouldn't have made that decision. That decision was so coming from a bad place. And I should have made a more logical decision that would have brought me to a better place right now. So when a lot of us make emotions in hindsight, we say that was a terrible decision to make. You have to remember that that is something that people often do when it comes to divorce. And if you want to divorce the right way, if you want to divorce in a more peaceful manner, you need to learn to detach yourself from the emotions when you're negotiating, when you're talking to your to the other parent or your ex-spouse, when you're trying to figure out what is going to happen in the future, right? So you have to learn how to instill logic and then separate the emotion from your decision. So if you want to learn how to do this more, we talk about this in length in Divorce by Rose, a divorce community app specifically created for parents who are contemplating divorce or newly separated. I invite you to join our course, The Five Key Strategies to Avoid a Nasty Divorce. In this course, we talk about emotions and logic and four other amazing strategies that I know will make a huge difference in your separation and divorce. And you know why? Because I didn't do the these things and I researched it after realizing that how many mistakes I'd made along the way and I realized that if I would have done these five things my whole divorce would have looked completely different and so here I am transferring the information over to you guys so I hope this information was useful to you my name is Ravit Rose I wish you a day that matters take care if you're a parent and you're either contemplating divorce or newly separated and you're wondering, should I stay or should I go? We are here to help you find the answers you're looking for. At Divorce by Rose, we are not pro-marriage and we're not pro-divorce either. We are a select group of coaches, experts, and professionals from various industries who are here to help you replace your emotional decisions with logical and methodical decisions. With our guidance, direction, support, and most of all, our personal and professional wisdom, you will be 10 steps ahead. Whether you decide to stay married or get divorced, we will help you find your answers and your path towards your new beginning. Where else can you get 24-7 access to divorce professionals? When you join us, you will also have the opportunity to chat with like-minded parents from around the world and have access to our bite-sized courses exclusively available on Divorce by Rose. And remember, when you become a member, you can remain completely anonymous. When you register, all you need to do is use a fake first name and last name. And now you can feel comfortable and secure knowing that no one can recognize you, not even your mother-in-law or soon-to-be mother outlaw, who now won't start a gossip column on something you wrote publicly. You're one click away from not being alone and preventing yourself from ending up broke and broken. Send us a DM once you're inside. Until then, wishing you a day that matters.